This morning, we take you to Florence, Italy, for a special look at one of the city's most sacred buildings. Adjacent to the cathedral known as the Duomo, the Baptistry of St. John dates back to the 11th century. Like the Duomo, the Baptistry is owned and managed by a secular nonprofit, the Opera di Santa Maria del Fiore. The opera spends millions of euros each year to maintain these treasures. The latest project involves the Baptistry's mosaic artwork, we visited to see the process up close, a unique opportunity that remarkably is also open to the public. With its eight soaring walls and prismatic roof, the Baptistry of St. John is a magnificent sight to behold. Over the past decade, conservators have worked to restore the outside of the building, then its interior walls. Now those efforts have moved to the 10 million gilded and polychrome tiles that form the ceiling's mosaics. Incredible. Yes, it's really fantastic. Samuele Cascialli is the architect overseeing the project. The first step, designing and installing the mushroom-shaped scaffolding which measures more than 100 feet tall. How long did it take to build just the structure so that you could do the restoration this way? This is a question I love, says Cascialli, because just 40 days were needed to build access to the mosaics. And that access isn't just for the experts. The baptistry is keeping its doors open, giving visitors an unprecedented view. This allows for the baptistry to still be open for worship, he said, and to allow visitors to see different stages of the restoration site. Tiled by Tuscan masters during the 13th century, the mosaics depict sweeping biblical scenes. This kind of scaffolding is very unique. There are 100 stairs to the top. You have to see it to believe it. <laughs> My guides were archaeologist Roberto Nardi and architect Beatrice Agostini. It doesn't get old looking at this, I'll say that. Both are with the Center for Archaeological Conservation, the private firm managing the 10 million euro restoration. Do you remember what that, that was like when you first saw it this close? Yes, you'll never forget. <laughs> Previous undertakings by the center have included restoring these 6th century mosaics in St. Catherine's Monastery at Mount Sinai in Egypt, and work on these sculptures in Rome, a project which was open to the public during restoration. We believe that culture does not belong to privates, and we don't work for privates. We work with public money for the public. The efforts on these mosaics are aimed at stopping any deterioration and improving the stability of the tiles. Well, you have to imagine that we are into a huge glass bowl. Right, right. And the glass is made for reflecting light. If we have several missing tiles, the light would be out of scale, yeah. you know, like yeah. a missing pixels. Mm -hmm. It will take at least another year to map to determine if there's damage or instability. And it's tile by tile, section by section? Section by section, tile by tile. How long is this going to take? We think that uh, the restoration finished in six years. It's complicated work, says Nardi, because not all problems are visible to the naked eye. This is a living body which breathes. Uh, there are always gaps happening between one layer and the other inside that you cannot see with your eye. Okay. And uh, you can uh, detect the problems and the gaps both instrumentally with your radar or a thermovision mm -hmm. or manually, which personally I think is the most efficient tool, tapping the surface, yeah. And from the sound that you receive, uh, you can detect either the magnitude of the problem and the location of the problem. This is over a century in the making. The mosaics were last restored between 1898 and 1907, when cement was used to secure loose tiles, which is now presenting its own set of problems. We have many areas with big stains of black cement, mm -hmm. which is terrible. Yeah. 
Again, you're not going to reflect the light. Right. Yeah. Okay. And what we are doing is uh, to remove with these small rotating tools. Next comes the cleaning process, essential for the golden bright colors to once again shine. Conservators use a special solution of paper and a chemical solvent. Giovanni is in the process of applying the paper pulp for cleaning. Okay. And at the same time, Benedetta is uh, recording and documenting what Giovanni is doing. Oh, wow. And when the poultice is removed... A lot of dirt. A lot of dirt. <laughs> As for those missing tiles, they'll be recreated in a Venetian kiln, the only one still capable of making gold leaf tiles. Agostini says every step is inspiring to witness. Have you thought, when you walk around watching this process go on, what this is going to look like six years from now, compared to the beauty that it already was? We can imagine it, yeah. that it was an amazing situation. <laughs> the restoration not only extending the life of this priceless artwork, but also helping visitors better understand what it takes to maintain treasured pieces like it. People have no idea about the fragility of uh, cultural heritage. They believe that because they are 20 centuries old, they can last forever. Right. That's absolutely wrong. And uh, uh, they have no idea of the efforts that, for instance, uh, an institution like the Opera del Duomo does every day to save and keep accessible in good state the heritage. And doing this way, people can see what is your everyday life. <laughs> It really was spectacular. I mean, photos can't capture how beautiful it is. And that's the important thing. With the restoration going on, people can go and see mm -hmm. and see that this is what it takes to keep treasures like this so that we have them to last forever. I'm always amazed at the, the preservation efforts that go into some of these things. I mean, think about that. It's going to take till 2029 to finish, and it was by hand, by each tile, and the mapping process. The nitty-gritty of it, like just doing yeah. it for you know, yeah. days, yeah. years. But uh, it's so beautiful. But imagine if they had to close it. Right. People would not get a chance for to visit. For years, exactly. So it's brilliant. Yeah. It's a brilliant twofer. Yeah.